on such a realistic fake mountain. Yeah, we'll see how I do in the real thing this weekend. It's gonna be way more extreme. <laughs> Hello, drool much? <gasps> so, you're going climbing this weekend, huh? Can I tag along? Uh, I don't think so. It's gonna be pretty rough. Uh, not if you're there to protect me. No offense, but I think you're a little high maintenance for the type of extreme sports I'm into. Ouch. That's gonna leave a mark. High maintenance? Excuse me! Have you ever been bargain hunting? As far as sports go, it's totally extreme. Sorry, Clover. See you later, girls. <laughs> well, would it make a difference if I told you I was an international sports Clover? Clover? I can't believe you were going to tell him who you really are. Oh, who cares? What fun is it being a spy if we can't tell anyone? Where's the payoff? We should at least get, like, free facials or something. <sighs> the payoff is keeping the world safe, Clover. And you know telling David could put him in serious danger. I know. I just want a hottie to call my own. If there's only some way. Stop everything. Idea forming. <sighs> Clover, you don't know the first thing about rock climbing. Please. I was like the queen of my step aerobics class. How do I look? Like you're about to be shot out of a cannon. Chances are we won't even get to the rock climbing. David will take one look at me in this outfit and say... <laughs> Sorry to pull you away from your shopping, girls, but I'm afraid it's a matter of great... Oh, Clover, what on earth are you wearing? You look like a pink crash test dummy. It's... oh, forget it. Let's just get to the mission. Right. Two days ago, a Canadian news team disappeared while investigating a remote mountain region in western Canada near Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan what? Saskatchewan. It's a place. Like the mall. <laughs> Yes. Over the last year, 25 local farmers and loggers have vanished from these mountains. The reporters were there looking for answers. Any clues? Only this distress call we picked up on a Whoop satellite from one of the reporters, Wade Ridgely. Please, anyone! There's something in the forest! It's all around! Okay. Scary. Yes. Something in those mountains could pose a threat to world safety. Whoop wants you spies to go undercover as campers to find out what it is. Campers? Like in pitching tents and stalking our own kill? Can't you put us up in a nice resort nearby? Hmm. Let me think about that. No. Now, let's get a look at your gadgets. Mostly standard issue, there's your heat sensor 6000 infrared motion detector sunglasses, jetpack backpack, Parachutes and something new I think you girls will enjoy. Boomerang Buzzsaw Barrettes. They come in three styles, Panda, Furry Kitty, and Unicorn. Remember, this is a dangerous mission, girls. Be careful. Don't worry, Jer. We can totally handle the wilderness. It's all about teamwork. I, I call the Panda! Give me that! Oh, give me that. <laughs> Jerry gave us were right around where the reporters disappeared. I say we set up camp here and start looking for clues. Sounds like a plan. Where's Clover? Clover! Okay, I don't know who designed this forest, but it needs an escalator. And could the woods be any dirtier? Don't worry, Clover. We brought plenty of water to wash up. Right, Alex? I... I thought you brought the water. Me? No, I'm the guide. The guide never brings the water. Who came up with that rule? The camping fairy? Well, why couldn't Clover bring it? She brought everything else and more. Hey, stop! We'll find water tomorrow. It's no big deal. Let's just set up camp and get a fire going before it gets cold. Who's got the matches? <laughs> Anyone got two stones? We can bang them together and the sparks would make fire. I've got a pair of clocks. Surviving out here. Oh, you're right. This is totally. 
total proof. What are you doing? I'm gonna call him. Hello? David, hi, it's Clover. I just called to tell you I'm totally camping in the mountains and freezing to death, I might add. Pretty extreme, huh? Uh, uh Clover? Uh, I'm a little busy and I don't want to cramp up. I knew you'd think so. So, what do you say? Can I come along on your climb this weekend if I'm still alive? Sure. Uh, whatever. Ah! Gore! You know, I think this whole outdoor thing is starting to grow on me. Uh, where's the nearest club? Uh, what was that? Get your sunglasses! Sound like the wind? According to the glasses, there's nothing out there. Ah! Ah! What is that? Everyone, just stay calm. Maybe it'll go away. down so we can get a closer look. Ew! So that's what's going on in this forest. Someone's growing men in pods. Hmm, huh, not a bad idea, really. Wait, it's Wade huh? Ridgely. Uh. Oh. What happened? Where am I? You and your crew were attacked. You're safe now. Who did this to you? I don't know, but they were everywhere. And there was this sound. <gasps> Clover, help me get him up. <gasps> Wait, did you hear something? Where's Alex? Alex! <laughs> That's the sound! That's the sound it makes when it comes for you. When what comes? Oh my gosh! Look! It's the forest! It's alive! We gotta get out of here. No! Alex! We have to find... Something up ahead. 
been abducting people. You gotta get us out of here. Yes, yes, of course. I'll send the jet immediately. It may take some time. We don't have time. Hurry! Seal the windows. We can't let them in. Professor Rasputin Zero. Zero? The conservationist? Hey, when we were investigating the disappearances, we came across that name. You were fighting to preserve this forest. I still am. By turning it into bloodthirsty Christmas trees? What's up with that, Scrooge? I merely gave the trees the ability to fight back with a bit of genetic engineering. The farmers and loggers of this region have been destroying the forest for years. And I thought it was time for a little payback. A little human snack to enjoy. So that's why Wade was in that cocoon. The trees were feeding off him. Yes. The human life force gives the forest its strength and intelligence. Listen, Freak Show. Thanks for the trip down Psycho Gardener Lane. But your trees made a mistake when they grabbed our friend. We want Alex and the others back. <laughs> I don't think so. days to be digested. You'll forgive me for not staying to watch, but I have a forest to attend to. It's useless. The roots are too strong. Right. Supposed to have a date with David, but instead I'm going to be turned into fertilizer? There was only some way we could crack these pods open. Clover, your boomerang buzz sobrette. If you could throw it with your free hand, it might knock your cocoon down. Hello? Will you forget about your date and get us down? I've done it. No one can harm my forest now. <gasps> Something's wrong. I altered the forest to protect itself, not to attack innocent people. Hmm? You can't do this! I created you! The fire's working! Ah, help! Let go! Someone! Can anyone hear me? Oh, we can hear you. Doesn't mean we're going to help you. Please! These roots are very tight. I chafe easily. Where's our friend? I'm not exactly... Now, pod boy! There's a tree in the middle of the forest. The queen. He controls all the others. You'll find your friend there. <gasps> Go! Find your friend. I'll get Zero down and try to keep these roots back. Wade, that is so heroic. You know, if we make it through all this, maybe you and I could... Come on! Are you sure we're going the right way? According to these coordinates, we're headed straight for... <gasps> Sam? What is... <gasps> oh my gosh! That is one buff tree. Yeah, and Alex is in one of those pods! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
to know, Whoop agents will be there any moment. They've already apprehended Professor Zero. What about Wade? He's fine. On his way home safely to his wife and children. Wife and... Hmm. Oh, well. <laughs> so, how did you spies enjoy your time in the wild? I hope it wasn't too rough. Well, we were nearly thrown from a cliff, crushed by a helicopter, and digested by killer trees. Piece of cake, Jer. Oh, excellent, because it looks like the Whoop Jets are going to be pretty full getting the missing people to safety. You spies are going to have to hike down on your own. I wonder if they got that escalator built yet. <laughs> Where is David? He's gonna freak when he finds out I can make our climbing date. You're not still thinking about telling him, you know, who we are? No need. After the way I handled the tree queen, I've totally proved I'm as extreme as he is. <gasps> there he is. Wish me luck. <laughs> Too late, I... Uh, what happened? Street luge accident. It was awful. Here's your breakfast, David. I blended up your favorites, eggs, sausage, and grits. Mandy's just been the greatest, like my own personal nurse. She's exactly <laughs> what I need right now. Somebody calm and gentle, not extreme at all. <laughs> Come on, David. 